How's it going everyone? Connie here with Caliber Whips. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to braid parachute cord from different numbers of strands. So for example, we're going to start with three. We're going to work our way up all the way up to 10 different strands. So without further ado, let's get started. So there are a couple of techniques that you need to keep in mind. For starters, if you have an odd number of strands, obviously when you go to divide it up like this, make sure that the smallest number of strands is the one that's going to be used first. So you cross over into the other strand. So in this case, when you braid, you're going to be doing an over under pattern. So basically just like that. And if you notice the strand that's on top, you're going to be taking the last of that side. So for example, this strand right here is on top, which is on this side. So the one back here is going to go up to the front and it's going to keep on repeating kind of that motion until you obviously finish the length that you want to go. And you want to make sure that you kind of keep it kind of nice and tight. Now obviously with three strands you don't want to make it too tight, but making sure that it's kind of tight overall. I did cover this in my pseudo English eye fall hitch video, so you can kind of get a gist of what it is that we're working with here, but that's kind of what you're looking for. Kind of this over pattern continually with three uh, strands of parachute cord. All right, so let's move on to five strands. Okay, so with five strands, it's pretty much the same as before. You're going to divide it into two sections. The side with the lowest number of strands is going to go first. So we're going to go over, under, over, just like that. And we're going to do it again with the same with the strand on the same side. So over, under, it's going to be under, over, under, just like that. You, know, you want to make sure you pull the strands, not super tight, but kind of snug. And there you go, we have our base. So for example, this one is on top, which is this side. We're gonna take the one back here and we're going to go under, over. So we're gonna be doing the opposite of whatever the last strand did on this side. I'll show you what I mean. So obviously we're going on this side here. We're going to do the opposite of what this strand right here is doing. So we're gonna go under instead of over. And then we're gonna go over here instead of under, just like that. And you wanna make sure you pull all the strands nice and tight. This little guy's coming loose. So what I'm gonna do, just put him back in the vise, just like that, and kind of crank it down even tighter so it doesn't go anywhere. But it should be fine once we double over. So we're gonna go under, over. We're gonna go under, then over. Same as before. Just like this. So there you go, that's five strands. I'll do a few more rows so you kind of get the gist of what it is I'm doing. And there you go. There is a five plat braid. All right, let's move on to seven strands. All right, so we have seven strands here in the vise. Seven strands is the common number that I use for my Turks knots. So I'll actually be releasing a video very soon on how to make a Turks knot uh, foundation for your whip so it's going to be the start to finish on applying the Turks knot foundation and then attaching the Turks knot itself so for the seven plat same as before you divide it up so we have the lowest number here it's going to be going over under over under and then over here over under over under just like this doing the opposite of what the other strand did before. So it's over, under, over, under, just like that. Make sure you pull all the strands nice and tug. Make sure it's not super tight, otherwise it might rip out of the vise. So you notice here, this strand was the last one over. So we're gonna be doing it on the opposite of whatever this strand here is doing. Another tip you could remember too is whatever strand, whatever side has the most number of strands, is the side that you want to start with the back and start uh, plaiting that strand. So for example, this, strand, this side over here has the most number of strands, so we're going to start braiding with this side. All right, This side has the most number of strands here, we're going to start braiding on that side, just like that. Now what you want to do is you want to make sure that you pull everything nice and snug, making sure there are no major rinks, <laughs> rinks 
kinks or wrinkles. There we go. I tried combining the two. You want to make sure that you don't pull super tight, but you pull with enough force to kind of straighten out the strands because it can kind of get in the way. So for example, there you can see barely how it's kind of wrinkled over like that. Pull it to make it nice and snug. So the trick here with this is to kind of find the, the uh, sweet spot of tension that you want for the plaiting. So don't pull too tight, don't pull too loose. You want to make sure that you kind of have a nice even tension distributed across the plait. So I'll do a few more rows of the seven plait, then we'll, then we'll move on to the 10 plait. And there you go, that is the seven plat all completed and all finished. So again, I'm doing a video on how to apply this to a Turks knot foundation. So you can do the heel knot of a whip. But until that video comes out, we're going to do now 10 plat flat braid. So let's move on to that. All right, so we have 10 strands here in the vise. Now real quick, I'm going to stop at 10 strands for two reasons. The first being that I don't have enough room on the vise. And the second reason, is that once you get the hang of it, you don't really need um, kind of any guides for any plat higher. For example, the max I've ever done is a 16 um, count flat braid, and there's really the same sequence for all of it. So once you get the hang of it for one, you have the hang of it for all. So for example, that what I'm gonna show you right here for the 10 plat is gonna be the same for a 20 plat, a 40 plat, or a 100 plat, it doesn't matter. Now obviously the more strands you get, the hairier it's gonna get, but that's just the way it is. So for an even number side, it doesn't really matter which side you pick. Um, as long as you pick a side just like that, it doesn't matter. Now just basically do the opposite of what every other strand is doing. So there you go. Oh, it's under, over, under, over, under. And then basically have this side over here do the opposite of whatever the previous strand did. And again, once you get the hang of this sequence, you're pretty much set for any count flat braid. Now obviously the last braids that I did were all even, so you can kind of figure out, all right, so the, e the odd number side um, goes last, so you start braiding with the small side first, kind of all that stuff. Um, but don't worry about all the little um, minor <laughs> nuances, if you will, with some of these braiding techniques, because once you get the hang of it, you're pretty much set. So here we go, here's the start of our 10 plat braid. So we're just gonna go, now, now you may wanna know which side to pick because they're both even sides, right? So again, this is where I pointed out, go whatever this the top strand is doing, for example. If you have, so we have the top strand going this way. You see that? This top strand is going that way. You wanna cover that with a strand going that way. So to do that, you wanna go on this side. So we're gonna go under, over, under, over, just like that and pull gently, don't pull super tight, you may rip a strand out of the vise. Now, obviously we have, it's clearly lopsided, we have six here and four here. Obviously we're not gonna braid this way, and plus this strand on top is going this way, we need a strand covering it going that way. So clearly it's gonna be doing this, just like that. And that is pretty much the gist of flat braiding. Now obviously several people out there um, most people out there kind of have the gist on how to do this, but I wanted to put this video out there to kind of clear things up, and hopefully that did. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Also, check out my website and eBay store. Both links are in the description down below. Um, and if you guys enjoyed, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, as always, I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.